morning at six o'clock. Welcome. Also this morning, we'll meet the hero. And Abby, the X Factor, and this morning. Thanks, Kirsty. You let ten past six. What's happening where you are? Well, first, uh, let's get the news with morning. I'm Dennis Very and Abby. Well, so well done to everybody. Mm. Now, look, this is not such good. It seems to be better now than it was three days ago. Poor on. Had a history of very difficult pregnancies. Let's hope it's all good. Well, I hope so. I mean, it's significant yeah. that they delayed the news of the birth. Much knocking of the NHS and so yeah. many problems. It's I mean, great is... to think. Mm. Pavel, where you are this morning? Gavin, hello. You've got the sports news. I nice have indeed, yes. We're going to more detail start later. again. Okay. We've already had the angst already this morning. John's not happy. <laughs> Ruined don't by another referee. Yeah. yeah. Well, the referee's the only journalist. person in the stadium we thought that was a penalty. <laughs> <laughs> Sour grapes. I, I get out of no, I, I, I can see Liverpool the better team on the night, but, you know, that's the second time we've had a really harsh... Anyway, moving on to things other than John Stapleton's interests this morning. Obviously, is one thing <laughs> Robert wielding a metal bar. However, a shopkeeper from North... Has well behaved as well. Then we want to help you. Here's knitters and everything, and they're, they're wolves. Uh, and we they're sometimes change the rules. We need to say it's uh, an English thing. It doesn't happen yes, elsewhere in the world. I don't know. If you, morning. Yeah, and if you've got ginger hair, let us know. Please do. What do with a summary of the news? This one for 20 years. Uh, not such a good medical story. Uh, pretty scary stuff, and not least because, I don't know, we, we delude ourselves, I think, don't we, that childbirth isn't someone like that. In that situation, it's very frightening, I think. Oh, oh, that's a long history. Uh, no. Not admitting it. Um, um, do we know why? Don't tell the letter he received when he turned it down. The letter is watching, it's important. I wouldn't turn it down. No. Just so you know. <laughs> wouldn't you? Well, I've sort of been one, <laughs> part time at least. Yeah. yeah. And it's not that's an easy ride, right. is it? To speed up plans to. Oh, sorry, Kate. No, I mean, as well as Nick Clegg, the military men are abused by their partners too. You could, of course, have left. Oh, some uh, people of all, I mean, this is horrific, what search overnight is that 40% of domestic violence is perpetrated. If you were watching this morning, I'm full. Yeah, all the rage have red hair at the moment. I know, would argue, actually, or, or beg the question, is it any different to racial? Lots of ways you can contact the wars. But it was the military wives who really stole the show. Steve got. Yeah. yeah. Scream when yeah. they. Here's Kirsty with. Hello, good morning. It's seven o'clock. An evil mum in Harry Potter, a political mum in the. All that to come. And at ten past seven, whatever you are. Morning off after the National TV Awards. So, wherever you are, Dan, good morning. Yes. Well, Not such a good medical story. Anyway, fingers crossed. We wish uh, Amanda and her. The Independent and the Telegraph uh, concentrate on other matters. Uh, many people are finding uh, household bills have reached, in Mr. Clegg's words, what would you now? What do they sacrifice? It's lovely in a nostalgic way, but you know. Yeah. And he's talking about raising the tax threshold to ten thousand pounds, possibly more. It, yeah, it is. It is crisis it's terrifying, points. isn't it? Yeah. I don't have to pay any income tax at all. Not much. Oh, anyway, after uh, half past, we're meeting uh, Helen Witt. Now let's get the summary of the news for you. Here's Lucy. Of the military. Anything they like, Absolutely. I would suggest, the but uh, we'll find out later. And let's see what Lorraine's got. She did something about it, and it's earned her Tesco's Achieving Mum of the Year Award. Here's her story. Helen joins us now from Wrexham in North Wales. Helen, it's a Malfoy in Harry Potter, Sherry Blair in The Queen. The headlines. Now John's very happy. He's already started flirting, if I'm honest. Which <laughs> is by saying that the Shrimpton Bailey. Yeah. All now flirting it? back. Absolutely. That's no, you are, but of course you played Jerry. Yes, <laughs> Yeah. But this is new now because you're, you're now playing the editor of Vogue, right? Yes, yes absolutely. In a BBC draw, fine swinging, 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 swinging. <laughs> swinging Would no one swing with you? No. <laughs> Did you have velvet pants oh. out and? Uh, suddenly, for the first time, people were wearing the, the posh girl from the home counties. He was a working class lad from the East End yeah. of London, right? And they. Because I've got a funny feeling that you had to do this a few times because I just thought you might end up. Was that good fun to do? Feedback from the Blair household. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's before we did the second one. I don't know if she still feels the same. Oh, right. You, of course, are married to the gorgeous and a mum of him proof. who's very oh, worried. Yeah, yeah, there, there you, you are. Proof, proof that you're married. Proof yeah. that he's ginger. Um, and uh, actually, which you just wouldn't do, would you? About yeah, any other. There's lots of ways you can get in touch with us. Text cost 20. Welcome back now. She's the super nanny of the canine world, a woman that unnerves naughty dogs but is loved by their desperate owners. She is Victoria Stillwell, a Brit who's conquered America for misbehaving dog. Then go to our website. On Thursday, the 26th of January. On the show. Right now, with the time uh, just an act after eight o'clock, here uh, picking on people with red hair as bad as school on Monday. Jeffrey, they also mm. said they have spoken. And are ugly, aren't they? So great. Let's look at their papers. This is to do with the fact she, she in fact had a baby on Monday. Didn't Good it? news is the baby is fine, and yeah. we hope that she is too. We
Now, there's one thing uh, sticking up for yourself. It's uh, See them after the break, but first uh, competition time. Here's Tim Vincent. Hi there. Well, they sung for both the Prime Minister and the Queen, and now TV royalty too. Yes, the military wide so, success. I mean, you can never imagine you top the okay. charts, the best-selling record for six okay. years or whatever. Is it, are there going to be more? Everyone a great service. I mean, not only have you topped the charts, but I mean, you've raised the military profile. Haven't you? A big thank you, uh, and thank so you. do your husband. Nice day, because that's it for us. We're joined by Heidi Range, Patsy Palmer, and Lila Ruiz on the show tomorrow. It's lots of girls. It's been very nice. Nice being here. With all sorts of guests. He never changes, does he, Lorraine? He does know.